What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I have been seeing so much hype around this book. It's also nominated for Goodreads Choice for 2020. I have been very, very excited to read this and I was lucky enough to be able to listen to the audiobook during Halloween, which just like, I know Halloween is over, but let me just say this was the perfect Halloween read. I loved Mexican Gothic from start to finish. It was just so cool, the vibe, the aesthetic, I just, it really, really hit me very, very nicely. So Mexican Gothic takes place in Mexico in the 1950s. We start out with a girl named Noemi. She's kind of a party girl. She definitely has a mind of her own. She's very progressive for like the 1950s woman. She goes to find her cousin who was recently married. She has fallen ill and she wants to know, you know, like, hey, what's up? We got a weird letter from you. You saying that you're hearing voices, things are happening, but like your husband's family is like very like tight-lipped, not talking about any Thing. So what's going on? She goes to this mysterious little town and at the top of this hill in this mysterious little town is a huge manor house called High Place. And I just immediately loved that so much. I've been watching a lot of uh, this girl named Molly on TikTok who talks about gothic fiction. She also recommends this book. And I just really loved like right off the bat, this is ticking all the gothic boxes. We have this girl entering this mysterious house. The house definitely is kind of a character in its own right and I loved meeting this weird family that lives here. I loved like that it tied in with colonialization because this was a white family who came here like for mining and they definitely have some weird little quirks when it comes to like the other people living in this town and like marrying in and mixing the races and blah blah blah. There's some incest going on as well and I just think the way that it all like tied in with the house, the way that it tied in with these weird dreams that Noemi starts having while she's in this house like what exactly is going on with her cousin. Like it just all worked so well to me and I was very into it. Now this is like an adult, like gothic mystery novel. It reminded me a lot of The Haunting of Bly Manor or The Haunting of Hill House. Actually, I think if you just watched The Haunting of Bly Manor, this book is a great follow-up to that because it's gonna hit a lot of those same tropes and it just does it in a very creepy and twisted way. I was very into it from start to finish. I honestly could not stop listening to it and I love loved the direction that it went. Like the climax of this book to me was just very well done. I really want to read this book again. I hope we get it adapted into like a movie or a TV show because I would love to see this beautiful house. I would love to see Noemi's beautiful outfits. Overall, this book is getting an A+. I definitely recommend it. I know Halloween is over, but if you still want those spooky feels, Mexican Gothic definitely has it for you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.